Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, we are going to talk about one more ad blocker and that is not related to Pi-hole. That is a different tool altogether. So I'm going to show you how it works and how you can go ahead and install it. It's really simple. There is no problem like Pi-hole is showing on our Pi. So let's do it. First of all, let me just take you to Google Chrome and then from here, let's just search for ad block and type docker. And when we search for it, we'll find this link right here, GitHub link. And this image we are going to use. So I have already downloaded the image and it's available for ARM64. Now from here what we need to do, we need to use these parameters. So let's just go ahead and copy these parameters from here. And let's open. And paste it here. Let's put sudo in front of it. So either you can use uh, this command directly or we can go ahead and use it through our portainer. So let me just open the portainer as well and log into the open media vault. So the open media vault is on 10 and I'm using the port 90. Let's just go ahead and log in. From here, let's go to OMV extras, talker and open web. So I'm already logged in and I have already downloaded the image that is right here. OZNU DNS ad blocker. So it will block all the ads through our router. Now what we need to change here is let me just open the image again. So we need to make some changes here. First thing that we need to change is we need to copy this from here and then move here and change it like this and then the next thing is the path that we need to use so let's just copy the path from here so this is the path that we are going to use now the next thing is TNS script so let's go ahead here and go to the page now what's DNS script will do DNS script is a protocol that authenticates communication between the DNS client and the resolver means it make a connection between the server and the client and also check that the connection is been tempered or not so it's necessary for the connection so what we need to do is just do it like make it one so this will also work when we do it by default it's off so we are going to turn it on to make our connection secure and then the auto update is one and these are the name server so the first one is for the cloudflare so both are for the cloudflare ns1 and ns2 ns stands for name server let debug at zero and the port number used by this image the ozNU image is 53 as you can see right here now let's just go ahead and copy it and let's log in through SSH. So I'm logged in. Let's clear the screen and paste the command, the total command here. You can use the command or I'll show you over there as well. Uh, I made a mistake here. Let me just go ahead and rectify it. So. the correct path is containers let me just show you as well so other uh, location and we have the samba server right here go to containers and uh, there is a already an image we can delete it a path so container on raspberry pi so i just change it to containers now let's just kill this command 
and copy it again and paste it here and enter so it's not taking the command let me just change it I put sudo capital that's why it's not taking the command because of my editor so what it say port is already allocated so if you see this error message what you need to do is let me just go and show you I put this command here so you can use this command from the website let me just show you so here is the command that you can use so copy and go back to terminal and paste it here and then this command now let's run the command one more time and hit enter and you can see it started and we can go back to our portainer from here and refresh the list and you can see it's running now on port 53 we can refresh it and check so what we'll do now we'll stop the container and from here we need to go ahead and open the container from here duplicate and add it and just name it as add blocker and that's it now from here we can check that volumes volume is good network is in bridge mode environment are set ns1 ns2 auto update dns script is 1 restart policy let's go for always as defined by the container so deploy the container now it will deploy it again with a new name uh, as add blocker so it's right here we can delete the old container remove so it's done it's on 53 now what's our next step is to check uh, let me just first of all show you my website so we can check that there are hats or not in between let's just go ahead and open the router because we need to make the changes on the router so let's go ahead and sign in and here and uh, let's go ahead and open my website so there are ads let me just check we need to open an, this browser and here is the website PC Mac and you will see ads here so ads are right here now what I need to do is go back to the router go back to internet and from here we need to go for DNS and right now it's 192.168 so let's use this DNS server and type the address so it's done we just need to apply the settings now once the settings applied successfully we'll go ahead and check on the browser here on Infany let's refresh the page and check so you can see the ads are gone now let's refresh the page one more time to check let's open any page my latest document and check So now ads are gone. I usually have ads here on the top of the document. You can see now there is no ads. So now the browser is ad free. You can check that out. There is no ads, only the article. Let's just go back again and check. So it's gone. Uh, I believe there is a ad popping up here but it's not there so let's just go ahead and check on ebay as well so let's check here on chrome and here is the ad blocker as well so let me just pause it on this site 
so it's green now let's just refresh the page and as you can see we don't have ads now there is one more website now usually they have ads here but now the page is ad free you don't see any ads now as you can see so it's doing its work blocking all the ads for you you don't need to make any other changes to it it's just the program doing its work and it's working absolutely fine as you can see right here it's blocking all the ads for you so guys that's it about this plugin that you can use to block ads and there is no configuration page that you need to open or do any other stuff from there it's just to block ads and it's doing its work now if you like my work please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want to ask any questions you can ask me on my official telegram chat if you like my work you can donate me a coffee right from here or you can support our channel on patreon.com so that's it for today share this video with your family and friends thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day